Hey what's up guys this is David. Today I will be showing you how to install an NES emulator on your PSP. It's pretty easy. All you need to have is custom firmware and download the file from the link in the description. So I have mine here. So yeah once you download that file it should look like this. If you open it you'll notice there's a eboot.pbp file which you know then you just go in a folder so we're going to start off by doing is create a new folder on your desktop and name it whatever you want it doesn't matter what you call it I'll just name mine Nestor J because that's the name of the emulator it doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want open up that folder the Nestor J folder and then open up the file you downloaded and copy eboot.pbp into the folder now we're going to want to make another folder inside of this and this is where we will put our game so you can also name that whatever you want I'll just name mine games so open up games and this is where you will copy all your games that you download to for this example I downloaded Tetris and now I can't show you where to get these games for you know copyright reasons or whatever piracy whatever uh, so yeah you know they're not hard to find you know just google it so yeah once you have your game inside the games right here that folder we just made copy your game into there and that's it now you need to connect your PSP to the computer and open that up go inside PSP game and copy Nestor J into the game folder of your PSP's memory card. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the computer. Now onto the PSP. Once you are at your PSP, go over to game. There you should see Nestor J. Start that up. This damn white screen making my camera go out of focus here. There we go. So yeah, the first time you open this emulator, you should get a message saying that uh, the defaults are set, and it will be an error. Just press circle, and you will be here. This is our the folders that are inside the thing we installed, and here's the one we made, which is games. So select the folder, press circle, and there you should see all the games, because this is where you should be putting them. So, the only game we have right now is Tetris, so let's go ahead and start that up. Press circle to start the game. Alright, so this is start. That's A. That's B. That's A turbo, B turbo, or maybe the other way around, whatever. D-pad. And, so yeah. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. Can get kind of loud. So yeah, let's try this out. You know, Tetris. No, I hate starting off with these pieces. Pain in my assholes. Ooh, almost messed that up. So yeah, there's Tetris, you know. You know, it's Tetris guys, like... You know, gals, whatever. Whoever's watching. You know, you guys know what Tetris is. And I'm doing horribly already. Which is not good. It's no bueno. Uh, can I can come back from this but this is not my game however I am playing through the viewfinder it's fairly difficult and this emulator works really good pretty much any every NES game that I've tried playing on this is, you know it's just handled it fantastically no lag haven't had to adjust any settings or anything like that to just get really good gameplay Yeah, my... Okay, yeah, my position is lost. Okay. So, to go back to the menu, use left on the analog stick. This will bring you to settings. Here you have your state, save, load state, um, delete, save state. You can take a screenshot there. You know, you have a bunch of save states as well. Forgot to mention that. Anyways, 
here are preferences you can mess around with those graphics you can change the screen size and all that I don't like to do that sound your keys you know I just like to leave mine default I guess back to ROM list choose another game but all we have is Tetris so cancel you can reset the game you know, it's like the same as the reset button on the NES. Continue, exit to PSP main menu. So if you want to leave, right there. And it should take you back to the main menu. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe if you want. Or don't. I don't care. So yeah, thanks for watching.